Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In this video, I'm going to let you know how you can calculate percentage change of your sales from last year, last month to this year by selecting any of the month dynamically. And this is a request from one of our subscribers who would like to calculate the same. It is tricky, but in this video, I'm going to let you know everything about it. So if you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. As you can see on this page, first we have our month slicer on the top of this page. Then we have two tables where you can see the sales data for 2006 and 2007. And please note that these two tables are not interacting with this slicer. They are just for the demonstration purpose so that you can see whether the data is matching or not. After that, you can see there is a first slicer which is showing you last year, last month sales. And then there is a current year sales which is total it's showing. But if you are going to go through the slicer and select any of the value, it's going to change. And then you can see that these values are matching for 2007. Currently, I have data only for 2006 and 2007 only. After that, I don't have any data. That's why I'm considering 2007 as my current year and 2006 is my last year or prior year. All right, guys. So now here you can see that I have this table data where I have a couple of tables like I have dim customer, dim date, dim product and fact internet sales table. Out of these, you are going to use only two that is fact internet sales table and dim date. If you will go to model view over here, you can see this fact internet sales table and dim date table. They are connecting by one to many relationship and the relationship is based on the date from the dim date table and order date is the relationship key over here for the fact internet sales table. Now, after coming to this page, let's see how we calculated all of these measures one by one. The very first is last year, last month sales. And here is the code. So let me zoom in a bit. Here you can see that first of all, I'm calculating the total sales. And for that, I have created this variable. After that, what I have to do, I have to go just one year back and I have to apply two filters over there. That means filter for 2006, which would be my previous year. And then also I have to apply a filter for the month. I believe this is very much clear to you guys and if you have any doubt you can ask me or also you can check out our DEX tutorial where you are going to learn everything about these DEX functions. These DEX functions are pretty simple. So let's see how did I wrote this code. Over here the very first is calculate and let me just format this a bit because you should also format your code always whenever you are writing. Over here you can see that I have applied a filter on dim date where year is 2006 and my month name is December. So that's how you have to do and it's in end condition. That means they both must satisfy the condition over here, which is simple. But why I'm using over here all DEX function with the dim date? The reason is simple. No matter what I select, my this last year, last month sales KPI should not get affected. That means this measure should not get changed by selecting the month slicer over there. That's the reason. And I'm going to show you how to work that. So let's go over there. So I'm going to just unselecting this one. So over here, you can see that this last year, last month sales is not going to affected by this slicer over here, no matter what month I'm going to choose over here. So it's going to remain same, the same amount which you can see over here. So that's how it's working. All right. Now let's go into the another measure, which is current year sales one. If I'm going to expand this a bit. So here you can see that I'm calculating the total sales again, then I'm applying a filter for only current year. So in your case, what you can do rather than writing 2007, what you can do simply you would come here. I'm just showing you as a commented one because I'm not going to include in this one. So you can simply write dim date and here you can write calendar year. So it depends which one is your year column that can be year that can be calendar year totally depends on you. And then you can extract the year from either you can use the nowdex function or you can also use the today. So let's say you write this and this is going to give you your current year. So you can replace this code over here with this code simply. That's all you have to do. And that's how the same you have to do over there in the last code where I mentioned the year. So you can simply say year today minus this and then you can just write minus one. So that's how you can utilize this same DEX code in reference to current year, which is 2023 and reference to the previous year, which is 2022. And you can easily calculate your sales over there. All right, guys, once you've done both of them, so we have to now calculate the percentage change, which is very simple for that. What you can do, you can create another measure, which I have already created. And here you can see that I'm simply saying if my last year, last month sales equals to zero, then leave it blank. Otherwise, current year sales minus last year sales and then divided by last year, last month sales. 
and then you would get certain value that you can easily convert into percentage which i have done over here i just formatted this one into percentage now this has been done everything over here after that what you have to do you have to select simply one thing that you also would like to do the color formatting over here for that also i have created one measure color and then you can simply go to kpi color i'm using this unicar values first value of unicar is for the green color second one is for red color so accordingly you can put just into the if condition and after that you will select your kpi you will come over here then you will go to the format pane over here this is your call out value and here i have selected this conditional formatting where field value equal to i'm putting over here the kpi color which is my measure and based on that this is calculating so i hope this is going to make sense to you guys but in any case you don't understand this or you have any question or concern please don't forget to let us know in the comment section and now i can simply go through any of the month and you can see that the values are changing for example if i'll go to january then the value is getting changed then you can continuously go further march april may june july august and november up to you whichever month you want to select dynamically your percentage change is changing where you are comparing your values from the last year last month sales to the current year selected month sales Please let me know guys if you have any more question and concern and also if you are over here for the very first time please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates see you in the next video